Uh, on this episode of Pin My Setup, we're going to be talking about your setups you submitted for tips, tricks, feedback, and much more. So if you're interested in that, then sit back, relax, and interact because the show starts now. It's time for the original setup show dedicated to providing you with tips, tricks, and feedback to pimp out your setup. Hosted by Matt Philly with new special guests every week. Coming at you live in three, two, one. What's up, everybody, and welcome to Pimp My Setup, episode number 37, recorded live on May 22nd, 2015. My name is Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Philly. My name is Austin Wachuki. You can find me somewhere down below. He'll yeah, there, you there you go. There you go. That, that works. That's <laughs> easy, uh, especially because I know a lot of people can't spell it. Like, Yeah, like, working on it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, if you guys don't know, he was actually on episode number seven. Way, way back when. Yeah, way back. And uh, he's back for round two, yep. and and hopefully he does a better job because you know last Whoa. time I was like eh, I don't know should I no should I? <laughs> um, but yeah it's gonna be a fun episode because we have two setups that should blow your mind they're they're pretty amazing so stay to the end for that and uh, yeah any anything I want to announce no do you have anything you want to announce mm, uh, I mean I guess uh, I'm moving out tomorrow and Ooh. summer officially begins so i have a lot more time now so, so more content a lot more and i'm gonna be traveling places and doing things it'll be fun it's gonna be good sweet maybe maybe we'll have like an east coast meetup this uh summer and we'll yeah we'll, definitely we'll, i'd be we'll, down nice uh all right so here we go let's go to the first setup the first setup is submitted by oh <laughs> i just realized i have to crop you we'll do that live though um the first okay. setup is submitted by danny and danny uh let's see did he say his age no okay yeah just as i thought he didn't say his age but the one thing he did say was that he lives in a military housing so he he doesn't actually get to decide furniture uh, we've seen this before, the same kind of furniture, so he can't do anything about that. But with that said, what do you have to say about it? Uh, well, I mean, I'm just trying to pull up the picture. Um, it looks okay. <laughs> it looks okay. I, I'm not really sure. Um, the one thing that was kind of weird to me is I'm not sure if that was supposed to be like a second PC because it looks like a keyboard's there uh, on the right side and uh, like another mouse. Yeah, it's like a whole other setup. So I'm like, is someone supposed to be using that because – can't really sit there yeah because he does have two pcs i don't understand the 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 point yeah so i don't know if he has two or it's like you know i don't i don't know what's going on there otherwise it looks it looks all right like yeah it's simple you know yeah um i mean it's hard when you can't really do anything about the furniture it's yeah because I don't think he can add. I don't think he can remove. I don't think he can make any changes. And especially having two setups, you know, you only have one part of the desk that has leg room. You know, yeah. you're going to have to, I don't know, put a bed up next to it and lay down and type. Like, that's the only other way I could think of using the other part of the setup. Um, it, I don't know what's going on there. Yeah. And the, I don't know. I guess the wood furniture, again, you probably can't do much about that. It's just yeah. like the white PCs and it's like, oh. Yeah. And and also on top of that, I don't think he can actually add anything to the wall because that one picture that's there is so yeah, weird. it's just so random. It's like okay, yeah. and it looks like a hotel with the uh, the curtains and I don't. Know, I mean, yeah. I, I do like the top shelf. At least you were able to put a little bit of you know, not that it's personality, but it's you know, it, it gives it a little more life. Yeah. Um, so that's nice. It, it is very basic, and I don't think there's much that we can really say about it unless you have you know some hard hitting facts you want to throw at them. Because uh, I, I I personally don't. I don't really either. All right. So I mean, I I feel bad, Danny, but um, <laughs> you made it on the show. So yeah, cool, nice. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> All right. So let's go to the next setup. The next setup is submitted by Will. And funny story. There's three Wills on today's show, but that's okay. Really. Yeah. Oh, there's, there is a uh, Will, another Will, and William. Yeah. So a lot of a lot of Wills or Bills or whatever they prefer. Um, yeah. So let's see, Will. This one's not loading. Will, what's your name? Well, we know your name, but I mean, what's what's your age? Okay. So while we wait for that to load for some odd reason, let's go take a look at the photo. Now yep. this is interesting because that PC is it's gigantic. Huge. What the hell? <laughs> huge. So much for out of sight, out of mind, right? Yeah, and I mean, the the desk is very unique. I've seen it before, but it's a very unique sort of like picnic style look. Uh, it's it's pretty cool. I like it because it's different. But 
for the love of God, I do not think that the computer should be on there. Honestly, he probably couldn't fit it anywhere else. Yeah. If you look around, but Jesus. He he would definitely need his own like table just for the PC. Yeah, and it's like blocking the light coming in and everything. I just was eh. Yeah, I don't I don't think it's it's gonna work out in the long haul for him. Um yeah. and actually let's see, this just loaded. He also didn't say his uh age, which uh, you know, it kinda yeah. makes it hard to assume what he can do. But I, I would think that, you know, that nightstand maybe uh well actually what's to the left of that? To the left of it. It looks like another table. I don't know if that's like a, a record. Okay, no, yeah. No, I don't I'm not sure. It's a pattern. little yeah, it's a little contrasted, so you can't really see, but yeah. if you can move the desk to the left and then replace that nightstand with something a little bit bigger that can fit the PC, that would yeah. be, you know, more breathing room at least. But I, it's just weird that you have the desk and, and the, the display is not even centered due to the PC, you know? Yeah. It's, it kind of defeats the purpose. And also you have those little stands at the bottom of the desk that you're not even utilizing, which you could I mean, if, if his PC was like two, twice as small, then you could probably put it there, but... Well, yeah, I'm saying like even just storage wise. Oh, just with other stuff. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. I feel like it's just not used. It's it's a little bare. Uh, he said he was going for the minimalistic look, which with the PC on there and all the other uh, things, you don't really get it, you know. So I mean, yeah. what would you tell him to do if you if you could, you know, like if you had all the money in the world, what would you change? Uh, I mean, I think I'd just get a smaller like nightstand and just put the PC on the floor. That's something really simple you can do. Yeah. Um. And there's probably some stuff that you can. Well, I think those are probably those are like bookshelf speakers. Mm-hmm. Um, I'm not sure what this is on the left. That looks like an audio interface or something. Yeah. Uh, you can leave all the stuff on the desk. It's just like find some space for that PC. Um, I don't know if you're comfortable working like right in front of the window. I know some people, I guess, like looking outside. <laughs> but personally, I, I wouldn't like that. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Just that. I'm sure that's like a, a monster of a PC. It's just like I don't need to. Yeah, it, be. It's I would be like claustrophobic. Exactly, bit. it kills the whole minimalistic look that you're going for. Because without that, you would be able to achieve it. Honestly, it, yeah, not at all. Yeah, like, so it, it's ginormous. It, it is huge. Yeah. It's gigantic. I want to know like what's inside it and specs, but like. Yeah, uh, and actually, if I if gosh. I look here, I don't even think he said. All he said was, "It's a big." piece so, <laughs> it's big, it's big. Uh, you know. yeah i mean that's what they usually say uh yeah all right so i really don't have anything else to say about it you have any closing thoughts on it uh i wasn't really i mean i from the photo wire management looks perfect but obviously we can't really see on the yeah, underneath yeah so maybe he did that on purpose you know <laughs> hey people do it all the time score. yeah so it worked yeah, that it is what it is. But speaking of wire management, let's take a look at this next setup. All right, this this yeah. setup is submitted by Will. Yeah, go figure. Um, and Will, who's fifteen, he needs to learn how to do cable management. I mean, this is just it. It kills me because it's not even that many wires going around. Yeah, that you could just so easily fix it or at least minimize the distraction from it. it it kills yeah. me. So he also has that huge, uh, well, not huge, but pretty big uh, drawer unit. Yeah, that he just put stuff behind. It's just like exactly you use that to your advantage, and yeah. and I feel like the PC placement's a little weird considering he has that gap to the left that should be utilized for the PC. Maybe even get like a little, uh, you know, stand kind of thing so that becomes its central hub because yeah. it, it looks like a nice little cave that he's in i love those like ceilings like that i mean this yeah yeah i don't know i feel like it would look cool maybe tilted i I don't know i I don't want to go crazy but i do like those ceilings i don't think it works best in the way he has the the desk laid out yeah um but you could do so many cool things with this uh definitely use those walls to your advantage maybe get some cool shelves um but yeah overall i think that it just comes down to the cable management and the placement of the things like underneath the PC. yeah i mean what do yeah, you think i feel like it, it's kind of awkward sitting there because you're kind of like straddling the, the subwoofer with your with your feet yeah um i mean yeah he has like leds which are nice uh it's like it's simple but it's just clean it up it can yeah. look so it can look so much better with like so, so little effort you know mm-hmm. yeah it, the leds are perfect things like that um but I don't know. All right, I guess I'll just say it. Do you think it's weird that he has it up against that wall? 
rather than against another like, wall. <laughs> yeah, well, to to where the tilted uh, ceiling is, like the the slant. Normally, yeah. people use that as their backdrop. Yeah. What do you mean? Like, if he faced it on the on the other side of the like wall, or? the monitors, the back of the monitors was facing the wall that's tilted, the slant. Yeah. Like that. That's what I usually see, especially because LEDs will bounce off that, and it looks really sick. Uh, I don't know. I just thought that it's weird because it's like a small oh, little nook. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it is weird. I yeah. Uh, you could because yeah. it kind of reminds me of like Jerry's setup a bit. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because he has like the slope. Uh, doesn't it's kind of sloped. Yeah, it is. And, mm-hmm. and he has like he put like um, TVs on the top. I'm not. I mean, that's it's a little too slanted for you to, like to put something up there. Yeah, that, yeah. <laughs> that might be cool. I don't know. Um, yeah. But yeah, I don't really like it in the corner because it just throws off the symmetry a bit, which I'm kind of like OZ about. Mm. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a good setup. It's just like placement and wire management is a little awkward. Yeah. Um, it, but it can be easily fixed. You can get like even just put a poster or something. I don't know. Exactly. And I do think that an Ikea Signum in this setup is needed because it doesn't look like he has any idea on how to cable manage. So if you put that Signum underneath, you run all the cables through the Signum. Sure. You won't even have to worry. It just lays there and it's it's whatever. Um, but yeah, yeah. It, it's placement, wire management, like you said, that's all that's needed here. So Yeah. And for those of you who don't know Signum's the little tray you put underneath the yeah. desk to carry the wires. One of the best inventions ever, <laughs> yeah. which it really isn't even that crazy of an invention. But uh, yeah, so this next setup right here. All right. Yeah, this it. next setup. This next setup. Just... Uh, yeah, it's submitted by Philip. Uh, and he said he has limited space to work, which I think is very weird because it looks like there's a lot of open room to the left. Yeah. Whatever. I guess that's not my my uh, scenario to, to judge. But he said um, he uses the computer as a footrest, so, which is weird. Um, he, yeah, he has his power strip just laying there on the floor, which is no bueno. You're going to unplug something eventually. Yep. And... Uh, yeah, he just goes on and talks a little bit more about what he has in his setup. But before we even look at the setup, what are your thoughts on, the, well, not even the furniture, but the walls? Are you talking about the sparse graffiti? Yeah. Or that and the posters and the everything. I mean, well, I guess we have to consider we don't really know where he's living and stuff. Yeah. Um, I don't know. It, it just seems a little cluttered. Um, and I feel like he's not really maximizing the space that he has. Again, I'm not sure what the situation is here. Yeah. Uh, but I feel like he has enough space that if he wanted to do more, he could. But he yeah. isn't. And even just like fixing the – not even fixing, but just kind of reorganizing the posters he has on the wall. Mm. Um, you know, like I like what he did with that big poster up top right. Like it's Yeah, that's awesome. It's pretty cool. Um, it's just like making sure everything else is kind of neat, I guess. Um, it's – yeah, I'm not sure if you can like paint the wall <laughs> or <laughs> – there's just a lot of stuff down there that's like uh, – Yeah, what is that? Uh, but I, I honestly would agree like if you could do a fresh uh, coat of paint, that would be great. If yeah. you could rearrange the posters. The posters are cool. It adds your personality. It shows what yeah. you love. But when they're just kind of random, it, it doesn't make sense. And from the looks of it, I think we could both agree. It looks like you could fit more, especially where that fan is. Um, yep. We don't know if you're not allowed to do that or, or considering you said in your, your little description that you, you're – tight on space although it doesn't look like that i don't know um but i think you know maybe a bigger desk or an addition to the desk would look great it could help you out again i we're not sponsored by ikea i saw someone ask in the comments no, ikea, ikea is just like the ideal place yeah for and, everything and not even that like you don't have to get your furniture from there but whoever you are if you have a setup you need a signum because it's ten dollars <laughs> i mean it's a little bit more expensive depending where you're from but ten dollars yeah. you put it under your desk and see that power strip he has underneath you can lay yeah. that on the signum yeah and now you now you won't have any problems with knocking it out and unplugging it i actually don't have i'm actually probably oh, gonna God. pick up one i know oh, um God. the thing is like i move like every couple of months so i don't want to yeah you know keep so. doing yeah because yeah you have to drill it in and yeah so i'm gonna do that thing. like in a like probably like a week or two all right cool when i'm settled you definitely have to, otherwise I'm 
I don't know if I could be friends with you anymore. I mean, this is why I've never submitted my setup to your show. <laughs> <laughs> that is true. Um, so. But yeah, so uh, the desk, I mean, it's an interesting desk. We've seen it before. It, it works. But in this scenario, it just looks a little weird. The cable management is horrendous. Literally just, I don't know what looks worse, below or on top. They they both look equally as bad. Yeah. Um. So it's a little out of sight, out of mind needs to be put in place here. Yeah, so I don't know. Anything else you want to say about this setup? Oh uh, no, not really. <laughs> I right. mean, I'm sure it's I'm sure it's probably pretty cool. Uh, I mean, like in terms of that fan. Yeah. So, Which is always uh, a plus. Yeah. 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 So, uh, <laughs> Anyways. <laughs> yeah. Let's go to this next setup. Next setup is submitted by Zach. Now let let's play a little game. How old do you think Zach is? I think Zach is. All right, I see some Xbox games. I see a lot of Xbox games. Trophies? Is that bowling? That's a bowling trophy. Uh, I want to say 17. 17. Okay. Well, he's only 13, which is oh. insane. Yeah. Um, he's got a pretty nice setup for his age. But yeah, this is where it comes down to sort of like, you know, your opinion if you agree or not. Yeah. Um, the things on the shelf, you know, the the things underneath. Is it overkill? What, what do you think? Is what overkill the like, shelf? Yeah, like all the things on the shelf, the boxes, the games, all that stuff. What do you think? Uh, I mean, it's neat at least somewhat. That is, yeah, that's true. I mean, personally, I like not having a lot of stuff. Uh huh. On my, like, if you see my desk now, because I got in, like, a, I got a, a monitor arm. Um, so like, my desk has nothing on it, and it's beautiful. Um, I mean, I'm not the biggest fan of it, but like, I guess it kind of works. It kind of shows off like what he does. Yeah. Uh, but what about underneath? Oh, like that doesn't need to be there. Yeah. Like at all. (laughs) (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. So overall, I mean, it's, uh, it's interesting that he was able to fit the the TV there. Um, it it works though. If that's what you're into, it works. I mean, I guess at the bottom, like I don't, I only see like two wires. So maybe that's why he has that green thing there. Other than that. uh, True. looks like some storage show next to that, like just random things like piling up, which I mean, if if that doesn't bother you, that's okay. Because as long as that's not where your feet are going, it's all good. Um, I think that the, the shelves, some people may find it overkill with the trophies and and now my dog is barking uh oh. and they might also think that the the mouse box and things like that is overkill but personally yeah. you know it, it's whatever you want and i think that the actual now what do you think about the desktop with the with the laptop over there do you think that's like not usable at all it doesn't seem usable yeah um because i wasn't i wasn't sure if he has the uh the, I'm, well he has the laptop connected to the pc yeah. or to the tv um, so it's usable in that sense, but unless he just has something like he can't use the laptop really yeah. as a as a screen because it's just in an awkward angle. Mm-hmm. Um, but it works if it's just a, like as a dock if he has um, something pulled up that he's not interacting with. Mm-hmm. Other than that, it's not really usable. And uh, what do you also think of the the headphone holder off the lamp? Whatever works, bro. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, it's creative, I guess. It is. It is pretty you know? creative. You know what I find weird about this setup, though? He what? has so much personality with the pop vinyls, blah, blah, blah. Um, but he has that big space on the right. On the uh, right where he could put something? Yeah. Like, yeah. I could see either shelves to show off more stuff or even take more off of the, the desk itself and put it over there. Or yeah. um, if he wants, you know, a cool poster. I don't know. I feel like that would look really good, though, especially to alleviate some of the weight on top of the, yeah. the desk. But, I know it just ma- it makes it seem a little bit uneven. Yeah, because he has like hordes of stuff on the left. And yeah, and the nothing, other side's empty. You know. Yeah, it's it's uh it's interesting, but for freaking how old did I say it was thirteen? He's that, thirteen. Like this is actually like pretty cool. Yeah, I would say it looks like he's got a lot of cool stuff too, like a nice uh you know, camera and, and a lot of game. He just has a lot of stuff for 13. So I think that's pretty yeah. awesome. Uh, you have anything yeah. else you want to say about it? Uh, no, I'm not sure what, what type of tablet is that a, like a tablet or like, a, uh, I think like it's a, a, a laptop that flips like the clam. Yeah. I have no idea. Tent style. I don't know. Interesting. Yeah. It's very interesting, especially cause he already has a laptop, but 
Yeah, I don't know. He has a lot of stuff. <laughs> yeah. So let's yeah, let's let's move on. This next setup is submitted by Keegan. And yeah, there's a lot going on. I'm trying to see. He wrote like a bajillion things. Um It's like the most compacted it. setup I've ever seen. Yeah. Like, He's got like moving arms and like everything. It's crazy. <laughs> I feel like it just like folds into like a suitcase and he just takes it. Somewhere. Yeah, exactly. Next thing you know, it's like a freaking transformer. It, it's it's yeah. crazy. Um, so I would say let's play a game and guess how old he is. But he didn't tell me. But I'm gonna make uh, the assumption he's a. L- yeah, I'm gonna say he's kind of young. <sighs> yeah, especially because I mean, he's got a lot of shit though for being young. Like he's got yeah. a nice chair. He's got crazy. three displays, even though one of them is a TV. He's got nice peripherals, just a lot of stuff packed into such a little, little uh, like you said, kind of like a suitcase. Yep. Um, but the desk, the, just to start off, the desk, it's, it's just not going to work for what you're doing. Yeah, for what he's trying to do, you need another desk. Yeah. I'm, it's, that's just <laughs> – Kudos for trying, though. I mean, that's sick. Yeah. Uh, the only thing is I don't – like he has more room to the left. He has more room to the right. But if he goes more to the right – He's going to kind of block those closets, which really, that, that mm-hmm. sucks. Um, but, yeah, I mean. You know it would be kind of cool? Like, if what? he didn't. I, I'm not sure if he really needs that uh, that shelving space like the on hutch? the side. If he took off the hutch and then put the two monitors and, like, if he was allowed to, like, mount that TV, that would. You know, I mean, that would be yeah. interesting to see. Yeah, what what I think would work for him is, honestly, if he got. Uh, here I go again. You know, I'm gonna leave out the the company name. If you got yeah. a nice tabletop, <laughs> and just a nice tabletop. Even even people get nice counters and they they put them in there. Yeah. Just do that because then you could have your dual displays fit perfectly. You could have, like you said, you could mount the TV above. You could fit everything. You're just gonna lose the hutch. But if it's longer, that's okay, and you could get yep. storage beneath, and it will work out, and um, it it would be a lot more functional. Right now, it I. I give you mad props for what you did, but uh, yeah. What do you yeah. What do you feel about the uh, the road the uh, snowball snowball? The, uh... You know, he's making it work. Uh, yeah, <laughs> it it works for now. But I I think also even when he folds it up and pushes it away, he's either keeping it in front of that shelf or he's pushing it where it's just completely off to the other side of the setup, and the, now it's like another arm to the setup. I don't know. It's it, it works. I mean, what do, what do you think about it? It just seems in the way, but I mean, if he's actually using it like on a consistent basis, then yeah. well, at okay. least you can move it because of the arm. Yeah, that's true. It's yeah, it's, it's just a lot. <laughs> yeah, and it's also really it sticks out because it's all white. Like even the cable, it's just like bam. It's, yeah. Especially for a whole black setup, but yeah. Um, yeah so I guess I know, it reminds me of like a cockpit. I think that's true. The chair. Yeah. The flip out. I, was, I don't know. It's interesting. Yeah, it's it's. I mean, hey man, I I'm gonna make the assumption he's young, and for however old he is, it's it's pretty good use of space. Nice. Yeah. So there you go. Um, all right, now let's go on to the next setup. Now this setup. Can we is... preface this just a little bit and yeah. just say like, so when Matt sent me this picture, <laughs> I wasn't sure if like this is one of those stock photos that companies use <laughs> to like show off stuff, or if he just straight up Photoshop like because I don't see how this works. Yeah. But when you guys see this picture, it is the most like. It's I gave it. One nine, <laughs> and that was it. And all you, it's it's the it's inc- and like obviously the color scheme is just incredible because yeah, just it's just to show it. it's uh if you have anything to say it's quite the uh quite the thing you know yeah. So let me uh, let me read his email. Now his name I'm probably gonna say it wrong, but it's Yazid. Is that how mm-hmm. you would say it? Probably yeah. Yeah. All right. So Yazid, he's 25 years old. He's from Saudi Arabia. He works in the fire department and in, or actually, is it the fire department in the military? I don't know how that works. That's interesting. Uh, yeah. He said he believes in peace, love, rainbow, and equal rights. And he said on behalf of him and his country, <laughs> he loves us. And us, he means <coughs> American people. He says we're very awesome at everything, especially PC setups. Deep respect, deep respect. And then he just dropped a bomb on me. Take a look at this. Holy this yeah. thing is insane. I I mean, okay. So at first, kind of, oh oh, all right, all right. Someone's all right. too good for the show. Jeez. Uh, it's my mom. Uh, oh, oh, 
that's that's okay. That's all good. Uh, <laughs> when I first saw this, what I thought was the same thing as Austin. Like yeah. that is definitely fake. There's no way. I'm not even gonna accept <laughs> this. And then I saw I don't know like a bajillion other photos of complete different angles. And I was like, apparently he sent him like 400 photos or something. I yeah. was just like, I don't, I, I dropped the mic and I was just like, no, this is, yeah, it's is insane. It. <laughs> it, it, like it is a legitimate setup. I, I saw way too many photos to think that it was fake. Um, it, it's insane. And I actually will download an extra photo and show you guys kind of how he made it so neat. This is not something that everyone can do. Um, yeah, it's, you need like he has a whole room to himself. So yeah. Um, taking a look, I'll also show you the next photo with LEDs. This thing, it's 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 a beast. But everyone wants everyone wants to know where are the cables. There's no way this is possible. So let me actually in real time try to open this up. Yeah, because I haven't even seen it. I'm still not quite sure this is real. Yeah. Well, let me yeah. see if I can make make this happen uh, like even even the speakers on just like casually on the desk like it's dope yeah everything he did he just he did it perfectly so let's see i'm gonna open up this photo this is all live real time i think i'm just gonna put it over your video because i'm lazy uh all right so i forgot i have it set to just skype great okay now let's try going over to this dun, dun. um we're gonna drag this file i know that everyone's like Oh my God! What? How did he do it? Uh, and I'm just I'm killing time here, just nonchalantly doing this. All yeah. Right, I'm just gonna open this into a a new window. So here we go. This is one of the many pictures that he gave. Uh, so keep that in mind. This is just one of the many. There it is. Now you're probably like, wow, that is really confusing. Yes, he is insanely far away from his wall, which is why he was able to accomplish this because he was able to bring everything to one point and Oh, wow. Yeah, and it's bring it out so nicely that it just it, I mean, look at the way he did the monitors though. The way they're wrapped around, the just everything about it is insane. Yeah. It, I yeah, I, I'm scrolling <laughs> through. I'm going to try to find more photos to kind of blow your mind. Like, here's another one that I'll show you um this right here look at that that's with the leds so you can see what it looks like at nighttime you can see how far away it is from the wall yeah good god it, yeah it's it's crazy <laughs> it, it really it's just crazy so there you go um uh, now let's actually go back to the picture of the setup and talk about it so <laughs> people are gonna hate me because i'm I, we didn't give it a perfect score we didn't but it's pretty damn close. Yeah. And so, because obviously we don't have to say anything about, you know, why we like it. Because it's pretty damn obvious. But what would you say uh, is the reason why it didn't get a perfect score from you? Uh, I mean, yeah. I. That's just the, the, the inner, I don't know. Like I was like, no one's perfect, you know? <laughs> um, no, I think I gave it a nine on, like, accessories. Because, um yeah, it just I, – I feel like maybe he could use some – if he, it, it might take away from the aesthetic. Maybe put a, like a, something on the wall or – because I yeah. like that it's clean. Um, but I don't I don't even know why well, I get like, – I can't even remember. <laughs> like for me, th this is how yeah. I would word it. Um, he, Theme-wise, he has a theme. It's the red theme. He kills it. The red and black nailed it 110%. But, that was 11 out of 10 for me, obviously. Yeah. The only yeah. problem <laughs> is – it's the the personality. That's true. You don't know who it is because that's you, just some guy who has like a lot of time and dope, like you know. Yeah, the problem is this could be my setup. This could be your setup. This yeah. could be a girl setup. This could be any person in the. This could be Barack Obama setup. Yeah, <laughs> and it, you you wouldn't know because there's nothing personal about it. It that's true. Yeah, it, trust me, guys. It got an insane rating i think it's the second rate uh, highest rated setup of all time it's perfect it just lacks that bit of hey this is my setup and you could tell because i love like screw it i'll show it I, people make fun of me all the time but i love disney i got disney pop vinyls i have mickey and minnie over there and i'm not, I'm not ashamed of that and i that's what yeah. i like but that's the thing you i don't think you would want that setup austin right you know they're they're saying i feel like the setup is too clean and i kind of agree yeah. 
It's a little. It's like mysterious. a stock photo, you know. Yeah. It there's there's probably uh, a lot of Photoshop done to this. No, I can you imagine yeah. he photoshopped every single photo he sent me just to like. Yeah. Right. Tweaking I don't, all I don't know. of the colors and everything. Yeah. And yeah. also the other thing that I think is, is insane is his rig. It is beautiful. I mean, that PC is just so Yo, yeah, beautiful. It's dope. Like it's just like this is like if if you can do this, then you can have a giant ass tower on your desk. This is yeah. the only circumstance. And he's got the room for it. He just yeah, yeah. He, he does it perfectly. But let me you know what, I'll throw another photo in. Uh, oh, it's it's upside down. That's great. Well, it's not upside down. It's it's like rotated. Let me see if I could fix this for you. Yeah, it's Which just work. a little a little too perfect. So, <laughs> is what people are saying. Yeah. All right. Let's see if I could. I love that AK just casually. Uh, yeah. That's. <laughs> All right, so Wirecast is being a bitch. So we're just gonna leave it like that. So yeah, you can see he's got his AK because. Because why not? Yeah, you know, why not? Uh, let me see if I could actually open up more photos. Only because people don't seem to actually believe how insane this is. So I'm going to try to show a little bit more. Uh, let's see. Yeah. Was it this? Was it this? Okay, so. Oh, okay, yes, yes, yes. I will show this one. This one's probably going to go in sideways too. Take a look at how nice that is for his PC. Like the wire management in there is just insane insane and uh, i'm trying uh, there's so many photos i don't even know which one would be worth showing and i can't i i don't have any other comments uh, okay so here's the last thing uh people don't seem to understand what those two red things are um that are laying on his desk i'm pretty sure i don't those are jbl speakers are they the pulse i know that they're speakers i don't know if they're the the pulse ones that do like all the cool led rainbow effects and stuff um actually i just looked it up i think they are they are okay yeah so um yeah. let's see actually did he write it in his email Re- regardless those are two speakers that i'm pretty sure pair up together yeah so no wires <laughs> yeah exactly and that's just something that he would do because that's what he is um but yeah so there we go i i think there's nothing else to critique we already said the only thing we would change is the uh you know a little more personality and yeah so yeah there it is damn myself off uh all right so let's go to the next and final setup which i also think is one of the sexiest of all time and i know people are gonna say it they're gonna say it i don't know who did it first they're gonna say this is just like unbox therapy but i don't know who did it first i'm not i'm not even gonna mention that because you know who cares yeah exactly but they are curved displays ultra wide yeah and i love the the uh, soundproofing foam on the wall i love the desk it looks so hot i love the Um, plants just the room the feel the room it's just like look at the uh this is like uh it just reminds me of like a really wealthy like studio executive or something yeah you know look at the light i mean everything about it is just insane and uh, I'm pretty sure I didn't look too much into it, but because uh, he he's one of the fast pass people, he was a CEO of a company, which explains it exactly. That makes per- that's exactly yeah. what I was going for. And it's crazy yeah. because I didn't even tell you that prior. That's just how you. Yeah, up yeah. To it. This is just what it looks like. like yeah. So yeah. a lot of people are probably wondering what is powering this setup. Well, he has a 12 core Mac pro behind the displays, but that's not it. Really, that's not it because there's a there's another PC down yeah. there. Yeah. Yep, okay. he also has a custom PC. Uh, it's it's an i7 5760X. Um, as you can tell, he put a lot of money into this. <laughs> and he said he's a mechanical and software engineer specialized Ooh. in 3D modeled interconnected devices. And he, he says we could call him Hervey. So, Hervey, there you go. This yeah. setup, just a lot of... <laughs> I mean, I don't know. I don't even have words for this. The the cable management is like a nine point nine 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 because he's got the yeah. cable boxes below and all that. I just see like one little wire. I just want to push it in and then it's yeah, all good. Yeah, you can see a couple. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's yeah. All right, so I love that he also has the PC because a lot of people are gonna hate on the fact that it's a Mac Pro in the setup, but that doesn't matter to him. So, uh, really, word wise, what do we say, guys? What do we say? What what would you change? 
what would I change? I mean, I feel like it just works, you yeah. know? Yeah. I, I mean, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm having a hard time coming up with words for these last two setups. They're just yeah. so good. Because it, it feels like it just, like, everything – like, I'm not sure he – like, personally for him, like, this just feels like it, it would work, you know? Yeah. So uh, – I don't know the, the rug and everything. It just it, it's got its own theme. It, it looks good, so I don't know. Uh, yeah, my dog. I'm I'm I might just go shoot my dog right now. That would be funny, <laughs> but I'm not gonna do that. Um, if you yeah. shot your dog, what is wrong with you? <laughs> oh man. Okay. So uh, any <laughs> any final thoughts on that? Uh no. I just think it looks. It's just like really classy. It's like kind of. It's the it's the other one. It's the. Uh, Words, 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 words. They are hard, yes. It's pretty s- similar to the last setup mm-hmm. um, in just the sense that it's like almost perfect. It's just one's like gamer, like hardcore, and this one's just like classy, you know? Yeah, exactly. So it's perfect. really nice so, stuff, really nice stuff. Yeah, I'm, you, should be, uh, you should be privileged to be a part of this episode with all these yeah. amazing setups. <laughs> um but yeah, so now this is the part of the show where we go over the scores. I think this is pretty pretty easy to tell who who won. Um, but here we go. F- started off with Will. Will got a sixty three, and then the next setup submitted. Oh, I should probably show them on screen. There we go. And then this setup submitted by the other Will got a fifty. Philip got a forty six. Zach got a sixty five. Keegan got a forty nine, and Yazid got a ninety six. Yep. William got or Hervey got a ninety, and uh, yeah, that's how that works. So obviously Yazid was in first place, William in second place, bada bing, bada boom. Yep, insane, insane episode, insane. Yeah, that was. Episode. Yeah. Yeah. So there we go. <laughs> um. Yeah. Works. Yeah. So. Holy hell. Yeah. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to think in my head if there's anything else I need to to say, but I really think that's it. Uh, if you haven't joined Setup Addicts yet, setupaddicts.com, go there. And yeah, thanks for watching this episode of Pin My Setup episode number 37, recorded live on uh, uh, words uh, May 22nd, 2015. I'm Matt Philly. You can find me on Twitter at Matt Philly. I'm Austin. You can find me on Twitter. Link down below somewhere. <laughs> uh, yeah, go ahead and subscribe to my channel, stuff like that. Follow me on Twitter. Yeah. Oh, you know that's that's one thing we should talk about. You're what a thousand more subs than me right now. Yeah, that's gonna change pretty pretty soon. <laughs> it, oh, it's okay. funny. Last time you were on, I think you had like twenty three thousand more subs than me, something like that. Yeah. This yeah. is because I engineering is very hard, and I don't make videos enough. Yeah. It, so it, it's funny how that works, but uh, yeah. But well, you've been killing it on the other end, so yeah. Thanks. There you go. We're we're gonna be neck and neck forever. That's how. No, it's will we be. like in like a year or so? We'll both be. I'll be like at a million and one. You'll be like at a million. So okay, there we go. Yeah. I'm okay with that. <laughs> um, yeah. All right, guys. So thanks for watching, and we will catch you on the flippity flop. All right, peace.